everyone, Minister James Price here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so very much for all of the love and support that you guys have shown me on my previous videos, all the likes and shares and the wonderful and very encouraging comments. And thank you to everyone that has subscribed to this channel. I really do appreciate you guys for helping me get closer to my goal of 1,000 subscribers. So thank you in advance. Thank you for listening to my brother, my mentor, Minister Barton Aaron Porter for subscribe and thank you guys I, I appreciate you guys and i want to say welcome and come on in to the new subscribers and i want to remind you guys that in the description underneath this video i put my personal email that way if you have any questions or concerns regarding any of my content you can just reach out to me and uh, people have done it in the past and i'll pray for you i give you scriptures and it's just an absolute honor to be able to help anybody so just reach out to your brother in christ and i will help you guys out for sure now, guys, in this video, I'm excited because I'm always excited, but I am very excited about this video because this video is going to be about my life after being delivered from sexual sin. And I want you guys to check out the video. I will put the link like right above me, somewhere up in here above me. I put a link for my video uh, talking about my deliverance from sexual sin because it's an absolute blessing to anybody who has gone through uh, what I've been through and it's, and it's been millions probably if not billions of people who have been through that so you know I want you guys to check that video out and so you can get more in depth of the story but I'm not going to go in depth like that for the sake of time because I want you guys to just to, just to check that video out but man I'm excited because you know I thought that being delivered by by God Almighty himself that that was just it. I wouldn't have a desire to do anything, but unbeknownst to me, that's not the case. But, uh, you know, I'm very grateful because um, through through this situation, I've learned and the Father has helped me. And I said, wow, this is amazing. Father, I want to I wanna help my brothers and my sisters on my YouTube channel. I want to help them too. They might, this might help them too. So, if you if you would allow me to do that, I'd love to do it to help them. And it's, here I am. So I'm here to do this because I want to help my brothers and my sisters, man, and give you guys some scripture about life after your deliverance. Because I thought that it was over. I had no idea that I would still have to fight. But I do. <laughs> and, um, you know, with, you know, when, when you're delivered, when you're delivered from from sin and a bondage is, is and the yokes are broken upon your life, you're excited. And it's like you're like, man, I'm free. It's like you you like the sky's the limit. You don't know what to do now. But, you know, I it took ninety days of prayer for me with my with my church family. We did ninety days of prayer. Day eighty three, the Lord delivered me. And I'm just like, man, I I was expecting miraculous miracles to happen in my life and it did i mean i was delivered from something that, that plagued me since i was a child since 13 14 years old and um, i'm very very grateful and thankful and uh you know what i what i've learned is that okay i was delivered from this so the thought it was like for a couple of months no thought no thought about sexual sins or pornography or none of that stuff nothing then out of nowhere, like, I, I thought about it, like, hold on, I've been delivered. What am I thinking? Oh, I rebuke this in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. That's how I'm thinking, right? And then the thought came back stronger. I'm like, what the heck? Hold on, now. So I was like, okay, I realized I got to fight. I got to fight. So what I did is I said the, the Holy Spirit revealed to me, you know, look up some scriptures. So I looked up all of these scriptures. And then I said, the, the Holy Spirit said, recite these scriptures and to memorize these scriptures so what i did is i wrote scriptures down i memorized them so i said okay i got sticky notes next to my 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 dresser down in my basement up upstairs in my bedroom whenever those thoughts come you pray and you re you recite those scriptures you pull you recite those scriptures and rebuke that foolishness in the mighty name of jesus and, 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 and declare that you're free. Hallelujah. And I got some scriptures I want to give you guys because I, I don't want this video to be too long, but I just want to be a blessing to my brother and my sister. Let's, let's go to Galatians chapter 5, 
verses 16 and 17. The Bible says in verse 16 of Galatians 5, uh, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. Verse 17. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. So, what does that mean? Well, the flesh is your body, what you want to do with your, with your body. That's the flesh. And the spirit is the Holy Spirit of God living within you, correcting you, telling you this is not right. So that's what the whole, the spirit versus the flesh. And if you have the Holy Spirit, which I sure hope you do, um, they'll let you know you need the Holy Spirit. You know, you, you pray for the Holy Spirit. If you don't have it, you definitely need the Holy Spirit to survive in these last days in this wicked world. You do what uh, the Bible teaches us in, you know, in, in Luke chapter, I think it's chapter, Luke chapter 11. It talks about us as human beings being evil in nature can give good gifts to our children. How much more would the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? So make sure that you you, you take my advice and you pray and ask for the Holy Spirit. It's free. You don't have to work for it. You just, God Almighty loves you and he will bless you with that. And, and it also is a ton of gifts that can come with the Holy Spirit, okay? All right, guys, let's go to Romans chapter 6, verse 11. The Bible says, Likewise reckon ye also yourselves, or just, um, it says, likewise reckon ye. It's like, and uh, carry, like carrying yourself um, to be indeed, I mean, indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Christ Jesus. It says, likewise reckon ye also yourselves or carrying yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin so you're not living in sin anymore but unto god through jesus christ our lord you are you are not the same you're different and you have to be able to recite like this is a powerful powerful scripture to recite to your evil flesh who was in league with the devil and all of these evil spirits. So that is a that is a scripture you can recite and that is very powerful. Hallelujah. Let's go to Romans chapter 8. We're going to read verses 1 and 2 and then we're going to go down to verse 8 of Romans 8. Verse 1, uh, the Bible says, There is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Hallelujah. Verse two, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Glory to God. Now, what does that mean, guys? That means that we are just like early, like I said earlier in Galatians chapter five, verse 16 and 17, we have to walk. We have to walk, meaning live. We have to live in the spirit of God, not in our flesh. If we do what we want to do, we will knock the bottom out of hell when we leave this earth. You don't want to do that. Trust me. I know I don't. Like I tell people all the time, I don't like it when it's too hot outside. So I know I cannot go to hell. I, I just can't. I'm not built for that. Okay. Um, you got to walk in the way that God wants you to walk. You can't just do things on your own because if you do, you're going to end up apart from him for all eternity. And you don't want to do that. Let's go to verse 8 so I can end this video. Verse 8 of Romans chapter 8, the Bible says, now this is very powerful and I want to just end this video out with this because I want people to really get this. The Bible says, so then they that are in the flesh... So that means people that are doing what they want to do, and it goes on to say, cannot please God. So if you do what you want to do, live life the way you want to live, you cannot please God. So, you know, if that doesn't really help you, I don't know what will. But I do want to give you guys more advice. There's tons of scriptures that you can look up in the Bible about uh, saying no to your flesh 
accepting your deliverance. You know, you may think that, hold on, was I delivered? Yes, you were. But you got to understand that your flesh has a mind of its own and that your flesh is in league with the enemy, with the devil, with these evil spirits all around. And they want you to be outside the will of the Almighty Father. But no, don't accept that. You pick this Bible up. You pick this up and you study this. I got sticky notes. I got, you know, my pen and my pad and, and I'm just highlighting things. I go in and I study the word. I memorize these words. I put it in my heart and in my mind and I recite this stuff. And I'm not just making this video for you guys. I'm making this video for myself as well. I need God as well. Okay? I, you know, I, I said to myself, I have to be ready when the enemy comes with his foolishness. I have to be ready when my flesh wants to do what it wants to do instead of what the Holy Spirit wants it to do. I don't know about you, but once you get tired of being tired and once you get tired of having to get on your knees and cry and say, Lord, forgive me, Holy Spirit, I'm sorry for grieving you, then that's when change will come. Okay? All right, guys, don't be like a, a dog going back to his vomit. Don't be like that. You want you you put your foot down and you open up this word and you write down scriptures and you recite those scriptures and you get on your knees and you pray and you accept your deliverance. You be strong in the Lord, okay? All right, man, I love you guys. God bless you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.